Every vacation, every Senate meeting, every monumental moment in U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy's life, he documented in a journal all for this moment. Patrick had uh, copious notes. He laments the fact that he thinks that he was not, uh, he was not uh, attentive enough to keeping a journal all the time, but he's kept a journal and this is the source, the resource that he had for the book. His recently released memoir, The Road Taken, documents his nearly five decades of service after being first elected in 1974. In his memoir, he talks about how he became friends with the Obamas, his opposition of going to war after 9-11, and being the target of anthrax letter attacks in the early 2000s. The letter was hand addressed. I mistake it went to the State Department. One of the employees there who picked it up and looked at it and said, oh, that's supposed to go to the Senate, put it in another, uh, another pile. He died. He died. Touching the outside of the envelope. It was addressed to me. That was a very nerve-wracking time. During a conversation in front of a crowd with journalist and historian Garrett M. Graff, he spoke about the contents of his book and the support he received in the beginning of his campaign when some of the polls didn't look good for Vermont's senior senator. When the newspapers had declared me as losing, said a few days after I said a picture of myself campaigning and said, Lady's secret weapon. <laughs> it is true. The Q&A forum was followed with a book signing lined with people who've supported Leahy during his time in office. It was wonderful to hear Senator Leahy reminiscing about his, his time and his service. I mean, he's just so wonderful. As the third longest serving senator in the U.S. Senate, Leahy has been in office for as long as some of those waiting in line have been alive. I've never seen Senator Leahy before, and I want to see him talk. And I know it's the end of his term, and I hope he enjoys his retirement, staying away from cameras. So I wanted to see him before he rides off into the sunset. They look forward to supporting him in the next road he takes. In Burlington, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News.